know, with this pandemic, one of the most risky or most dangerous things that we can do is have large gatherings. The first to take their seats had no problem with social distance until Bandamere Speedway filled up on the 4th of July. They have the ability to seat 23,000, they say, and they were uh, agreeing with us that they would cap their sales at 4,500. Dr. Mark Johnson, executive director of Jefferson County Public Health, says Bandamere Speedway broke an agreement and violated a temporary restraining order granted by a judge last week. It is clear that it was packed, that there were uh, um, many more than the 4,500, and that uh, the physical distancing was not maintained even in the place where they have individual seats. The crowd at the race and fireworks show was supposed to have been broken up into spaced out groups of no more than 175 people. As long as they kept people separated in those numbers of uh, in groups of those numbers, we felt that we would be able to, to work with them on that. Unfortunately, that did not work. And there wasn't much the health department could do. We did have staff members there who were taking pictures and monitoring what was going on. The Achilles heel in all of this is that we don't really have the enforcement power to, to make changes on the fly like that. Johnson thinks there will be consequences to this crowd. COVID cases potentially traced back to the track. We feel that probably within five to 10 days, we're going to see an increase in cases from people who were at this site. Noel Brennan, Nine News. Now we have reached out to Bandemir Speedway several times this weekend asking for a comment and they have yet to give us any kind of a response. This evening, Bandemir posted on its Facebook page thanking people for quote, standing by our side. Jefferson County Public Health plans to meet with county attorneys tomorrow morning to talk about potential legal action against Bandemir.